As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. The chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. What happened to our gift friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We? You want to stay together? We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Alright, let's get moving. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again, for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Something the matter? What's the story with that odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. What do you think of all that's happened to us so far? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to, exactly? You must have thoughts about our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. No reason for us not to stay together if we get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Boulder's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Seems personal. I won't pry if it's not something you want to talk about. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. How am I holding up in your estimations? I must admit, you've been a surprise, and not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? We should get to know each other a little more. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? You don't want to talk about yourself? I should hope not. Have you ever heard the people who want to talk about themselves? I'm doing you a favor. Maybe I'd like to get to know you better. <laughs> Sweet of you, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by traveling together. No need for interrogations just yet. 
If that's what you prefer, I can respect that. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Easily. Stand back. There. Can you see it? you want to keep that darling neck of yours and you keep your distance no need for this to get messy I need him alive stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get <laughs> promises promises but I have other business I'm afraid now I saw you on the ship didn't I nod Splendid. And now you're going to tell me exactly what you and those tentacled freaks did to me. You have it backwards. They took me prisoner, just like you. Don't lie to me. I... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. Uh, what was that? What's going on? Ha! I saw into your mind. They took you. Just the same as me. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Apology accepted. I might have done the same, were the roles reversed. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. My name's Tav, and I happen to be from Baldur's Gate as well. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So... Do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately. They'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it? We need to get rid of it! Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You should travel with me. Our odds are better together. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. There, a mind flayer. And it's hard. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel... compassion. Compassion? Yes, you feel...
feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Your minds fuse, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body you can provide. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Monster. Death is too good for it. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Who are you? Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. Whatever you're doing is working wonders! Now a quick little pull should do the trick! Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. No need to apologize. Are you alright? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norseloid as well. I was, yes. I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. No you sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. I'm a cleric indeed, but I'm afraid the power to remove this parasite eludes me. I can't cure us. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent! Parasite shared is a parasite halved, or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you 
for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. So, we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. <laughs> Hardly a promising introduction. Tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. I need you to stay at camp for a while. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Please, just stay at camp. Well, you know where to find me. I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems... interesting. You're not versed in magic, are you? Of course I am. My god has granted me a great blessing. Oh, I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? Namely, are you a wizard? Which you are not. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Tell me a bit more about yourself. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. I want to know about more than just your hobbies. Can't you tell me something about the real you? Certainly. That I have a great respect for privacy, for instance, especially my own. You think it... Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Rather demanding for a woman in your position. Why should I? Your words flow to her, though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid? We can't trust her. This creature is dangerous. Get out of here. Leave it to me. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. A blast? I could use more specifics. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. I'm in dire need of healing. Where is this camp? Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Say please. Never. The, field. the tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. And what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gate tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. 
A simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. All right, we journey together. Let's find this Kresh. You have made an ally from Kresh Kaleer. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. A Githyanki joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. Lazel has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. Chatter already, Tusky. You look so unusual. Githyanki are rare in these parts. I expect I am your first. I know of Githyanki, but I've never met one. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. You are no less alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. As if your upturned bat snout is any better. Better is an opinion, but mine is certainly more economical, disciplined, dignified. Do you know much about Mind Flayers? I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Do you know what happens if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a Mind Flayer is born. That's not going to happen. We will find a cure. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. You're worried we haven't changed? This is good news. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone! But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. That ship is full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. Well, uh, in that case, come on you lot, no point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? 
Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! It would have been quicker to kill them. Where's you, Gibblebuck? Everything all right out there? Gimbalbalk triggered some trap. He needs help. Now. Oh, I told him it wasn't safe out there. Get inside and I'll rustle up some bandages. Who the hell? You're dead! I feel a presence here, a power, the patron god of this place? Whoever that Ancient, even is. Ancient, indecipherable no text covers the plaque. No dedications, nothing. A dead tongue? Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. is ancient. A dedication to a forgotten god? That might be worth a look. This place wasn't built for the living. on the plaque is a mystery to you. sign of a struggle. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Looks like someone wanted to bury this. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. What was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. You have a sense these are names, a list. But of what? Gods. 
These are the names of gods, once lost but now restored after the second sundering. The last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. Surrender their valuables, even after death. Fools. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty old baubles. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Quite the question. What's the reason for it? Curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes. Ask away. So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? No one life is worth more than any other. We are all equal. In death, that is so. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. These chambers are much changed. We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on my way. As if I were not here. I must attend this place after so many years away. We will see each other again. Soon. Soon is rather vague. When exactly? When the time is proper. I do not know that hour any more than dost thou. But I do know that the longer thou standest here, 
the farther away our second meeting becomes. Go to hell. Was there anything in particular I did to deserve such a greeting? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'm just poorly making a point. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. What's on your mind, girl? Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. I'm not too worried. We'll find someone who can help us. That's the spirit. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Your magician seems dour tonight. Must not relish the idea of sprouting tentacles. Understandable. Can't say I'm a fan either. It's just hard to join in when all of this feels so new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. Give it a try. We'll need to be fresh tomorrow. I'm in no place to rest yet. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through. To process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. Thank you. I'll sleep better for that. The pleasure is all mine. Sweet dreams. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. What were you two talking about? What do you mean? You and Gail. We were just discussing the next steps. I see. I'd be careful with Gail. You don't trust Gail? He's a wizard. All they care about is power. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Agreed. The sooner we find someone to help us, the better. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Not to be rude, but what are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. He has a divine aspect, yes. A reflection of death itself. Eternal and inescapable. All that power. Are you a god's chosen? I shall answer no further questions in that regard. What kind of services can a skeleton offer? A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, 
I will cleave soul to body once more. That's incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy for you? Because it is my calling. There is little else to explain. You mention a cost. What is it? A matter of coins. 